Hi, it's Miss Stoke, and um, I just wanted to give you a tour of English class for sixth grade. Um, I know that we talked about a lot of things today in our orientation, but I wanted to give you a personal tour through um, your class, okay? So on the home page, just click Classes, and it will take you to the class eventually. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I only have two classes, but you'll have like seven, I think. So just click on language arts and you'll be in the right place um, for English. All right, so take a look at the home page. Um, this might seem like it's not anything important. It's just the home page, but it's a lot of great information. So class updates is where um, anytime I grade an assignment, you'll get feedback and your grade right there. Um, we have multiple attempts on the assignments. So it's really cool for you because you actually get feedback from your teacher on how to um, correct any mistakes you might have made. And that's a great thing to learn to do is to make mistakes and it's okay. And then to learn how to correct them and stretch your brain and learn how to, to fix your mistakes and to master those skills that you're trying to learn. So we're definitely going to practice that this year. If you see a notification right there, please look at it and read it and, and really just ask yourself, okay, how am I going to take what she said and actually fix that in my assignment? And if you don't know, please come to Life Help and I would love to help you, okay? Um, this class plan is pretty much the same as that class plan, okay? It just looks a little bit different. It's basically telling you what lessons or assignments you have um, on those days, okay? And we'll look at that in a second. Class announcements, okay, this is easily overlooked just because it's on the homepage, you just breeze right past it. But this is where I share like any links or um, any really important information. I'm not gonna put anything in the class announcements if I don't think it will it won't help you okay so anything there is going to be helpful so please take a look at it and follow the links if they're there and stuff like that your email class connects remember our class connects are required for this class so it's very important that you pay attention to that all right plan all right i like to look at it as the whole month you might want to look at it on a different way and there are multiple opportunities to have different views, okay? Whatever works best for you. Um, I like to see just kind of what we are doing that week and, um, you know, kind of what I have to be preparing for. So you can kind of hover your mouse over it and it shows you like um, the ones with the two means there's an assignment due that day, okay? So this one says we have a quiz and then that one says we have another quiz, okay? So it's like little things like that. It's just really helpful to kind of get a visual of it really quick so you make sure that you get it done that day. Um, content. This is like the meat of the, co the course, okay? Um, this is like where everything really is. So if you look at recordings up at the top, um, this is where you'll go like after class if you want like a review of what we talked about or if you missed class. Um, which hopefully you won't do because <laughs> we're um, required in English to be there. But if you if you need to go and look at the recording, um, they're right here. So you'll just find whatever group you're in, click it, and then it will pop up um, a new window. So you just find whatever date it is, and it'll tell you like module one, lesson two, or something like that, and then it'll give you the um, URL. And you'll just click it and it'll open up the recording. Um, going back to the table of contents, you have course materials. Okay, so syllabus, that's like anything you might want to know about. Um, whoops. Uh, teacher contact information, um, academic integrity, which is a really a lot of information about plagiarism um this literature for young readers this is actually our textbook okay so if you're like where do i find the online textbook this is it okay so course materials and then you click on the literature for young readers volume six 
So this shows you how it's laid out. So if you like, if your lesson tells you, go find the magic prison in your textbook and read it. Okay, you're like, well, where is that? This is a good place to look. Um, because you can see magic prison is right here. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to find the section lessons learned and then find the magic prison. So you just click the link and it says module one is lesson learned and then I'm just going to the magic prison. Okay, so if you notice, these are the same titles as our modules. So it's pretty organized, okay? So if you know that we're in Timeless Classics module, then we're gonna be in that part of the textbook as well, okay? So it shouldn't be super confusing to find the stories and it's right here just in case. And that's all in the course materials, okay? Um, all right, so then um, module one, we'll start there. And this is kind of like a um, chapter in the textbook, okay? Um, you have lots of little lessons inside and basically you just open up the lesson, click the little hyperlinks or just scroll through and um, make sure you have green checks by then and that means you're complete, okay? Um, we do have like... Um, some um, drop boxes and that that'll be when you see the little blue thing right there that just means that um we have an assignment due so to turn in the drop box it looks different on mine so i can't really show you but you just click the link and then it will pop up a new screen and actually give you an opportunity to submit something so you'll just um you know hit the upload button and find the um, saved document on your computer and you'll just upload it. So every time you do an assignment, um, make sure you save it as a name that you can find, okay? It'll pop up a bunch of numbers from whatever the file name is saved on the curriculum, but change it to a name that you can find, okay? That way when you're ready to upload it, you're uploading the correct document. Okay, so that's pretty much all. Um, if you have questions, please let me know and I can give you another little walkthrough. Um, and yeah, have a great day.